Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at some of the common date calculations you might want to carry out and the functions available to help us with those. Before we begin, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel, please, for more Excel tips. Now let's get on with the tutorial. The first thing we're going to look at is getting today's date. This means if you put this in your spreadsheet, every time you open that sheet, it will recalculate today's date. And we simply do this by typing equals today and then putting an open and close brackets behind that. There aren't any parameters to pass to this function, so we just leave it like that and press return and that tells us today's date. We can also find the exact date and time by using the now function. That works in exactly the same way. Now, open and close brackets. There's no parameters to pass to this either. And that returns the current date and time. We can also add days to this. If, for example, we wanted to find the date in today plus 10 days time, we put our today function in and simply put plus 10 on the end. And that returns our date plus 10 days. And the now function works in exactly the same way. Type in our now function plus 10. And that's the date and time in 10 days time. Next, we're going to look at calculating the number of days between two dates. And that can be as simple as just simply typing equals our latest date minus our earliest date and pressing return. And that's showing us that there's 43 days between the 1st of October and the 13th of November. We could also use the date diff function. And that's equals date diff, open brackets. And then we're going to look at our first date, so our earliest date, comma, our latest date. And then we're going to specify that we want to return that in days. So we put a D in double quotes, close our brackets. And that's again telling us there's 43 days between those two dates. Date diff can also be used to calculate years and months over and above whole years between dates. If, for example, we wanted to calculate the length of service for someone who's worked with our company since the 15th of February 2012, we can calculate the number of years by using date diff, our start date, comma, today, open and close our brackets, and this time we want to specify years, so we're going to put a Y in there. Close our brackets and press return. And it's nine years between 2012 and 2021. If we then want to find out, well, how many months has it been on top of those nine years? Again, it's equals date diff. Open our brackets, specify our earliest date, which is our start date. Comma. Today. Open and close brackets. And this time we're going to use YM in our quotes, and that's going to signify we want the months over and above the whole years. So we now know it's nine years and two months since that person started working for our company. To calculate our days, it's a little bit more complex. We're basically going to take our start date and take off the years and months, and then count the days from the first day of the month. So this will look something like equals our start date minus, we're using the date function to calculate a value that represents the date in Excel of the year, of that start date, the month of that start date, and then a 1 to start on the first day of the month. And we get 14 days. Now it's the 30th of April today, so 14 days is counting the full days that have elapsed since the 15th of February. And finally, we're going to look at how we can build a string that converts these three values we've just calculated into a sentence. So we're simply going to repeat the function that we used to calculate our years which was date diff, our start date, comma, today, open and close brackets, and a Y to represent years. And then we're going to use an ampersand, and in double quotes, we're going to put years, comma, space, another ampersand, and then we're going to repeat our function that we used to return the number of months. So that's date diff, our start date, to today, and that was our YM for our months over and above whole years. Another ampersand, open more quotes, type in months and space, another ampersand, and then our function for returning the number of days. And this we're going to wrap in brackets, so it's our start date minus our date value of our year, of our start date, our month of our start date, and then our one start calculating at the first day of the month, the final ampersand, and that's days. This is going to build a complete sentence that tells us the length of service of this individual. They've been working for the business for nine years, two months and 14 days. 
And you could use those same set of functions to work out somebody's exact age, for example. I know we've been through a lot of functions there. So what I've done is I've put those in the description of the video so you can copy those out and adapt those to your spreadsheets as you need. I hope you found this video on date calculations useful. Please do like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.